So I've recently been getting really bad frame drops in CS and decided to look for a guide on how to fix it and found one by readtldr.gg that helped me out a lot and completely stopped my frame drops and as you'll see in this video increased my average FPS by a hundred. So today I'm going to go through the commands that helped me out the most and can help you guys not only stop frame drops but according to this article boost your FPS by 50 to 100 guaranteed. So as always, if you do enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, quickly, before we get into it, check out the sponsor, SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is a CSGO trading site where you can find great deals and really fair prices to trade your skins at. Once you go to their site, you can activate a bonus by going to your profile and entering the Suka promo code for up to a $5 bonus on your first trade. After that, it's really simple, just choose an item and you'll get sent a trade offer, all you've got to do is accept. Also, if you're looking to buy skins for real money, you can easily deposit on Skins Monkey and get a bonus 25% balance anytime you put in money. They've also got all your basic payment methods, including crypto, so be sure to sign up to Skins Monkey today with that link in the description. Get an easy $5 bonus on your first trade and start getting some sick skins. But for now, let's get right into the video. So first step that I want to go over is going to be the most obvious one and it's just going to be to make your game settings look like this. Pretty much just want to keep everything on low or disabled except for multi-core rendering on enabled and texture filtering mode on bilinear. Assuming you've already done this, which you should as it's going to be the most basic and best way to increase your FPS, I recommend installing the FPS benchmark test workshop map and comparing your FPS now to after the video. But Let's move on to the next step that personally stopped frame drops for me pretty much entirely or at least to an extent where I don't notice massive frame drops every time I open the game and take my first couple of gunfights and that's going to be by going to your desktop, right clicking, going to Nvidia control panel, manage 3D settings and then setting low latency mode to ultra. This apparently changes how many frames are prepared by the CPU before sending them off to the GPU. And I definitely am not a computer nerd, so I don't know too much about it, but whoever wrote the article said they got a 25 FPS boost from doing this, so it seemed to help out a lot. Very importantly though, if you are on a lower end PC, they did say that if you have problems crashing after doing this, turn it from ultra just to on. I've had no issues yet, but I do average 370 FPS, so I shouldn't really be having any issues in that department. But once again, lower end PCs, be sure to look out for this. If your game does start crashing, this is most likely why. But next up is going to be a bit more of an annoying step, but I just tested this, hopped in a deathmatch, and had nowhere near as many frame drops as I usually do right when I open the game. So it does seem to be really effective. But what you've got to do here is open up your task manager. I just do it by right clicking on my hotbar and then go to details on the top towards the right. Make sure you have CSGO open. I probably should have mentioned that first, but I'm not very smart. And then go to set affinity and remove CPU zero. Note that you will have to do this every time you open CS unless you have a program installed that automates processes on your PC, but not only did the guy who wrote this article say this helped with his frame drop issues, but me testing this as of 10 minutes ago can also confirm this. So even though it's a pain to do every time you open up your game, it definitely seems to help. And for me, frame drops are a huge issue in this game, even though my average FPS isn't. So I won't mind doing this considering it helps out a lot. And the final real point in the article is to delete temporary files on your PC, which really has varying success. And I didn't notice too much of an FPS increase from it, but maybe you guys will. In the article, they show that you can access them by typing percentage sign, temp percentage sign, just normal temp and prefetch. Those are three separate commands that you can type. And each one gives you access to different temporary files on your PC, which you can delete to save yourself space. And although doing this will absolutely save you space, to me, it didn't really do anything FPS wise in game and really just made it a pain because I had to re-enter all my passwords for every single website I go to on Google. So apparently I deleted that file and I don't really think this is a necessity. Now, what I would recommend is absolutely uninstall games that you don't play, delete videos, say in shadow play that you have saved and don't want to use because those videos take up obscene amounts of space and 
do everything you can in your power to just free up space on the drive that you have CS installed on because that absolutely helped my game performance, helped with frame drops and just overall FPS. And if you don't have room on one drive, I would recommend installing CS on another if it is possible. I know there's some weird tricks that if you install it on an external drive, it can help with FPS, but I'm not too tech savvy. So I'm sure someone in the comments has a much better idea on that than I do. Just from my experience, I gotta say the more storage, the better, and it's better to keep CSGO on a drive with more storage, and that's just a basic rule of thumb. But a lot of articles and videos recommended changing your power settings as well, which you can do by searching up choose a power plan on your PC, and it'll give you the option to go from balanced, which your default set on, to something called high performance, which says it favors performance but uses more energy. Personally, I really didn't notice a difference with this compared at all to normal mode. I think doing all the stuff I've stated previously is going to do a lot more for your frame rate and performances than this will. But if you're trying to squeeze every single bit of FPS out of your game, you can try this, but don't really expect too much crazy results. Even in the article, they say it didn't really do that much. And if you guys saw my shorts video yesterday, which I did make one, I just tested out the first few things in this article and got a 10 FPS increase to almost 380 the average from 370 but it completely stopped my frame drop so i was completely happy with it i didn't really feel like going through the whole article i'm like i'm content with this but after doing it today and testing everything at once typing fps underscore max zero in console instead of fps underscore max 999 just the default fps max or whatever you have it default set to and changing my res from 1280 to 1024 to 1280 by 960 which you obviously don't have to do i just randomly decided to change my res today i now get 480 fps on average which absolutely amazes me when i checked it and i legit did a double take because i didn't believe it and thought i was reading it wrong so the top things for me would be number one make sure all your game settings are on low personally i like playing on a lower res because it just feels better than me but you obviously don't have to you can play on native either way if you do lower your resolution it will help with fps a lot and when i had a worse pc i played on the lowest res possible but now that i've got a better pc it doesn't really matter Either way, setting low latency mode to ultra in NVIDIA settings also seemed to help me out a ton, and FPS underscore max seemed to help out a lot with just getting a higher frame rate in game, but if you experience stutters in your game, capping it at like 4 to 500, or whatever you typically run at can help out a lot with that. You just kind of got to toy around with it, as I've heard everybody say different things about it. FPS Max Zero seems to be the best for me, but it might not be the best for you. I would recommend trying somewhere around 3-400 or whatever you cap out at FPS during the middle of a comp game. 999 just because it's kind of unlimited, but it's not zero. Changing it from 999 to zero seems to completely fluctuate your FPS in different ways. Either way, I recommend trying all of them. See how it affects your game, and it's most likely going to affect stuttering than it is kind of game performance. So either way, I would try it out. I haven't experienced any issues yet with FPS Max Zero. But yeah, besides that, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and be sure to leave a comment saying which one helped you out the most, or if you have any other tips you recommend. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.